Hi everybody, you are watching with Rorials. my name is Alex and this is Rorial. I'm gonna show you how to design this isometric axonometric icon in Gride Designer. So let's start with the Alt N or Option N with new document panel and I'm gonna size up this canvas with their website medium 1366 by 768. Click OK and then I want to apply the grid, isometric grid, so head over to document panel and select this option isometric. Um, so far so good, let's grab the pen tool but before we start drawing uh, make sure that your snap to grid is available and you are actually use snapping shift f10 to turn on the snapping option so snap to grid uh, now let's start drawing just in the middle of our canvas and isometric square okay it looks decent but it's only 460 pixels of bits and we need around 600 so increase a bit to 620 i believe it's okay now let's draw grab the subset to click t and draw a marquee holding shift key around every single corner of our rectangle and let's round the corners of corner radius will be around 70 for this um, design so see 70 pixels let's delete the border and apply the first fill liner gradient so grab uh, head over to liner gradient and apply this liner gradient so on our left on our left is e4 e8 fd and on our right it's um, ef3 f7 ff Click OK to apply the changes. Grab the uh, pointer tool and select it with the pointer. And then go to the effects more and long shadow. Grab the shadows here and then load shadow. OK, from this long shadow panel, set the angle to negative 90 and click OK. Then, then diminish the lens to 30. Uh, set the opacity of course to 100 pixels 100 pixel percent sorry and uh, delete the fade effect also go to the color pickup and select a liner gradient from this drop down then head over to this gradient so on our right is supposed to be e6 ea ff and uh, on our left um, sorry on our right is b0 b7 e6 and guys if you don't have the same exact image that i have right now click on this rotate gradient right until you have this dark side and this light side that's very easy because this is my light source uh, set it to the some oh, hot cup i totally forgot one important step so ctrl d command d to duplicate this um, platform and size it down a little bit actually this will be our platform with the size of 478 by 276 and this will be let me delete the long shadow this will be a simple background with the this color feel okay guys so I size it down one of the duplicates on top uh, to the 478 and then with the original file I just deleted the effect and rendered the fill color to this volume 347AFE. Okay, let's make the duplicate again guys and select the bottom part and nudge it down so using the arrow key i nudge them down then select them both and uh, put it on top now select the bottom part bottom stand and apply the fade that's okay now we can insert it a little bit more uh, deep on this deep blue rectangle and actually around the corners so grab the subselect tool 
select this uh, corner on the near the light source and opposite corner and push the corner radius a little bit more just like this okay so far so good uh, we are ready to create our tablet but uh, let's turn off the grid um, to see uh, how it's going it's going pretty good so let's go to the isometric again and then place the cursor into this angle tool and change the value to negative 60 so we are actually working with the axonometric projection right now again make sure that you are snapping to the grid option you may or may not size down the grid so if it's more convenient to you you can size it down to 10 pixels uh, i will stay and stay on this default grid size 20 pixels click enter to apply the changes grab the pen tool again and start ruining your tablet okay so 300 on 334 pixels grab the pointer tool uh, with the border and the fill so don't delete anything go to the fill then apply the liner gradient again and let's obtain to this option here this global swatch this is a three point gradient and as you can see it's arranged from top to bottom so on the top i have 99e7fe on in the middle i have e f e 65 f 9 and on the right i have 3472 fe i'll click ok to apply the changes and let's disable the snap to grid option for a while because i want to create the highlight just now let me grab the subselect tool and um, convert this point to the straight uh, okay uh, but before doing this let's select all of the points holding shift key all of the points and push the corner radius to 14 to round the corners so grab the pass tool and draw a line it will be a highlight as you can see i have this polygon that is go that goes far beyond my rectangle but it also had this intersecting option and i want to preserve only this intersection how to do this let's select this first this path and make a duplicate ctrl d command t on your mac or go to the edit uh, and duplicate it here then select holding shift key also this polygon so as you can see two of my paths are selected right now this uh, one instance of rectangle and uh, my polygon and head over to the overlapping a uh, boolean shape operators uh, and click intersect command guys okay, if you are new to the uh, gravity designer i highly encourage you to learn um, more about the boolean shape operators in my gravity uh, in my tutorials article so i provide you with the link in the description all right now let's select the border and delete it because we are working with the uh, compound shape this highlight and apply this gradient so for this gradient i have ca f2 fd on the top right and on the bottom left i have the black color and let's render this black to northern by applying the a screen blending mode okay okay it looks decent now we are ready to work with the border so head over to color fill and then with the, apply the liner gradient and select this uh, border this is a border liner gradient so db e0 fa is the color on the board top right and the color on the bottom left is eb ec f2 that's wonderful uh, finally let's apply 
the long shadow effect. So head over again to the more shadow and long shadow. And for this long shadow, we are going to work with the negative 170 angle. Then with the length of my shadow set to 30 pixels, set the opacity to 100% and finally delete the fade. Head over to Polar Pika, set the line of gradient and I believe we need to apply this um, gradient again. But um, okay, so it's just the DBEO0FA here, and uh, the EB is CF2 on the opposite right side. And let's play with the rotate this gradient. I'm clicking on this rotate gradient right icon to see how it works. Uh, I'm pretty satisfied with the result I have and um, I'm ready to create the shadow. I need to grab the path, path tool again and draw a shadow here. Again, it will be just simple polygon that starts in the bottom left angle of my tablet and then goes way beyond the stand. So, select the stand Make a duplicate, Ctrl D, Command D. Make sure that your duplicate is selected. Then hold Shift key and select this polygon. And head over again to the Interfect Pool and Shape Operator. As you can see, our compound shape inherited some styles from the uh, bottom uh, path. We need to delete the long shadow effect again and uh, place it on the bottom of uh, below our tablet on the left stack. Then uh, head over to the blending mode and set it to multiply. Okay, it looks decent, but as you can see that um, the shadow is a little bit off. This is the darker side, this is the lighter side. So we need to just switch. And yes, uh, we need to just change the order of our stops. Just like so. Okay, it's much better. Let's convert both of our compound shapes to compound path. You can use this icon on top, convert to path, or Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P on your Mac. Okay, uh, this looks enormously good. Let's take a look on my algorithm. I think that uh, we can work with the highlight a little bit. So grab the screen and push your black gradient stop to a little bit on top. Okay, final step. Final step is to draw the uh, plane icon and uh, in order to draw the plane icon, we need uh, two paths. First, uh, first one is uh, kind of like angle one. Let's place it here and delete the border. And second one is the polygon. And this. Okay, let's uh, delete the border. And finally grab the uh, gradient, line of gradient. I think uh, this uh, gradient will be sufficient. Again, it's DBA0FA and it's E, B, E, C, F2, but of course I need to change the position of my gradient stop. So let me go to my liner gradient. Let me see the final result. I'm pretty satisfied with this result. Of course, you can work on your plane, you can work on the shadow, uh, but as for me, it looks very clean and very well done. Okay, well, hi, guys, if you enjoyed this tutorial, give us a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, share this tutorial with your friends, and don't forget that you can go and grab the 
uh, initial file to learn more of by the example. Just visit the tutorial that way. Thank you for watching. Enjoy your day.